Hello children. Today we will be learning geography class 6 chapter 10 human occupations. Let's begin. Answer the following questions after observing the pictures in figure 10.1. What are the cows and the buffalo in picture A doing? What is being obtained in picture B? What is happening at the milk collection center in picture C? In picture D, what is being transported? Where could the tanker be going? Which products are seen in picture E? From what have these products been made? What else is happening in picture E? Out of the products shown in picture F, which products do you see? Do you use? What would be the main difference between milk and milk products? Do these products perish quickly like milk? All the above pictures are related to the rearing of domestic animals. obtaining milk from them selling milk processing milk at milk processing centers making ghee butter cheese shrikhand paneer milk powder etc from milk selling them in the market etc this work is carried out at different levels man undertakes all these activities to satisfy his own needs we classify these activities on the basis of their nature and the products they yield now look at the pictures again and answer the following questions which of these activities is undertaken to obtain a product from nature which product is obtained through it how long does this product last In which picture is the product obtained from nature being collected? Which service did the milk producer get through this activity? Where is the milk being taken? What happens to the milk thereafter? What milk products are seen in the picture? Who inspects these products? What does the shopkeeper do with these products? In which of these products are perishable and which are non-perishable? Will the price and weight of these products be same as that of the milk? Think about it and answer these questions by going back to the previous page and check the pictures once again. Some products obtained in primary occupations are used directly while others are used after making some changes in them. Now see picture E. In this picture, the milk is being processed after bringing it to the dairy. That is, the product obtained from nature is processed and made into different products. these products are more durable their quality has enhanced too and therefore their price is also higher for example shrikhand butter cheese and milk products are processed from milk this processing is an industrial activity industries are based on raw materials More durable goods are produced in an industry. The raw material supplied to the industries is often obtained from nature. From primary occupations, occupations dependent on primary occupations are called secondary occupations. Now look at pictures C, D, and F. You will see milk collection and sale of milk, transport of milk, 
and sale of milk products respectively all these activities are related to the products of primary and secondary occupations many a times these occupations provide complementary services to the other two occupations such as such occupations are called tertiary occupations these occupations are complementary to all other occupations these occupations are also called service occupations these include transport of goods loading and unloading of goods and sale of goods etc now look at picture e here you can see a person testing the prepared milk products this person is testing the quality of the products to do this work the person must have some special skills this is also a type of service but this service is not an ordinary one it requires special expertise and therefore such services are called quaternary occupations look at the pictures in figure 10.2 carefully we are learning the classification of occupations see if you can answer the following questions related to sugar production classify the occupations from primary to quaternary which raw material is used in the secondary occupation which is the finished product obtained in the secondary occupation which are the services in tertiary occupations which picture is related to a quaternary occupation can you name that occupation if you look at the picture and follow the arrows you will see picture a is a sugarcane field below that picture b is harvesting of sugarcane then comes transport of sugarcane followed by sugarcane being collected at a factory then comes inspection and maintenance of machinery in the factory above that is processing of sugarcane juice picture g shows sugar production and quality check picture h shows a man with sacks of sugar being carried and the last picture is the sale of sugar this is how we classify the human occupations different occupations are practiced in different countries of the world through these occupations economic transactions occur within a country and between various countries these transactions decide the country's production of various goods and their annual income this in turn is used to decide the extent of the country's development observe figure 10.3 these pie charts show the percentage of manpower engaged in various occupations in the countries of bangladesh united arab emirates or uae and turkey each pie chart shows the percentage of primary to tertiary occupations answer the following questions on the basis of the pie chart which country has more manpower engaged in primary occupations which country has more manpower engaged in secondary occupations which country has more manpower engaged in tertiary occupations which country has almost equal manpower engaged in all the occupations countries which have more manpower engaged in tertiary activities are considered 
to be developed countries while countries which have more manpower engaged in primary activities are considered to be developing countries now rank the countries above from developed to developing countries thank you children that's all for today please make sure you read your textbooks and also rewatch this video to understand it better feel free to ask any questions you may have